Can you describe to us what came out of Warner Brothers today in terms of what they want to do tone, tonally with the films? Um, well, there's been a talk for months and months about uh, DC slash Warner, because Warner does all the DC products uh, or projects, is that, um, that of them sort of like, you know, getting back in the game because a lot of people are like, uh, you know, Marvel's winning. Marvel's got the game going on, you know, because of Iron Man and because of the Hulk. But, you know, Warner Brothers had this great success with The Dark Knight, and it's a uh, success that's totally trumping Marvel. So I hope they don't uh, rush into it too much because uh, I think they realize, and they've said this, that, you know, you need to take your time with these projects, and you can't just, uh, you can't just uh, rush them through. They become something like Catwoman, which, you know, everyone yeah. tested and made no money, um, and I'm sure they spent a lot on it. So, um, you know, I think they, they want to, it sounds like they're going to reboot Superman, um, yeah, Singer's off like it at wanna... this point, right? From what we know, Singer and uh, Brandon Routh may no longer be involved with the Superman franchise. Yeah, it's hard to say. I mean, they haven't said anything, but uh, if they do a reboot, you know, that, that suggests, I mean, like the, the Ang Lee uh, or like the Ed Norton one, yeah. that that's a total new reboot, a new director, a new direction. Um, I, I would assume they'd have to do that because, you know, if, if they're going to change the direction, you want to change the face of it, and that means, uh, um, you know, probably a, a new actor and probably a new that? director, a whole new uh, wipe in the slate clean. Now, in, in, in the division of uh, Strike from the Iron, uh, sorry, Strike While the Iron's Hot, uh, they want to go with a more brooding tone for, for their characters, but is that, you know, a general thing? I mean, is the lesson of the Dark Knight that people like sad superhero movies or that they like a sad Batman movie? I think they're just so... Uh... They're so drunk over Batman and that success that uh, they want some more of that, and they maybe think that, oh, darkness is the key to everything, uh, which, you know, I'm definitely down with because it grounds those films and needs some reality in there, and you need some, uh, some psychology and personal crisis there. But, uh, you know, you can't go too dark with something like Superman. Yeah. Superman's never really been like that, and that would be an odd tone. But it's also... Uh, you know, it's just one line in a in a in a in an article. It will still remains to be seen whether uh, or how dark they'll actually go. Well, one person who's not excited about any DC movie is Robert Downey Jr., who decided to take a, a full company man stance with his new uh, Marvel Studios guys who are cutting him paychecks for the Iron Man films. Discuss what uh what did he say exactly? He was pretty pretty blunt. Yeah, I mean, he said like fuck DC Comics and. <laughs> I don't know why he said it. I, I, I'm convinced he said it because he was genuine about it, but yeah. Robert Downey Jr. talks extremely fast and loose and from the hip <laughs> and from his gut, and uh, I think he was talking a little bit out of his ass, frankly. Like, uh, you know, I think he's just sort of being like, you know, Iron Man's the best, fuck DC, who cares what they do? I didn't get Dark Knight, it was too dark. Yeah. And, uh, like, <laughs> I was like, what high school did you go to? Where did you graduate? Maybe you need to recheck your education, because Dark Knight's not that hard to follow, and it's not that complex, you know? Like, uh, uh, so I don't know what, what he's thinking. I think he's just kind of like, sort of, in a way, maybe just like sort of, supporting the fans of Iron Man yeah. and sort of just being like a little bit of trash talk in a way like a sports player would do. <laughs> um, but I don't know if he, uh, like he's genuinely like against DC products or, or projects, yeah. you know, like I don't, I'll tell you I what, I think he's just, uh, yeah, yeah, anything to spice up this late summer movie season. Now that all the movies have come out, if we have Robert Downey Jr. saying FDC comics, then that's great. At least we have something to talk about. <laughs>